Yo, 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 this your boy, the Real McCoy, coming at you. We talking about the NBA, some round ball, man, for my round ball fans out there, man. Um, the NBA season is here, it's upon us, you know. Uh, I've been doing um, videos um, for each division. I've done a few divisions already. How I think it's gonna, how they're gonna play out uh, based off the current rosters as of now. Um, you want to go back and check out? I've I've done the Atlantic Division in the East. I've done the Central Division in the East, and I've done the Northwest Division in the Western Conference. This video here, we're doing the uh, the Southwest Division. Um, you got the Memphis Grizzlies, uh, New Orleans Pelicans, and the three teams from Texas. Houston Rockets, San Antonio Spurs, and Dallas Mavericks. So I will jump right into it. Um, I, uh, I forgot the New Orleans Pelicans. I got them finishing last in the division. Uh, it, just a few years ago, I think two seasons ago, all five teams from this division made the playoffs. That's that's pretty impressive. I knew that type of success probably couldn't be sustained from one division, but that was because only eight teams made the playoffs. And all five from one division were in. <laughs> But um, that's kind of, you know, I, I didn't think that, that that would stay like that. But I've got the Pelicans finishing, finishing last in this division. Um, I, I just don't like Alvin. I don't like Alvin Gentry's philosophy or system. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of soft. A bunch of shooting, um, all finesse, and just outscore your opponents. Not a lot of defense, things like that. That's fine if you've got, like, the Warriors roster or the Cavs or the Spurs. You've got some shooters. The Pelicans don't have the personnel for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can shoot the three all day, but are you making them at a at a high percentage, at a high rate? You know, um, they've got some solid wing players. Uh, Lance Stevenson now, Tyreek Evans, Drew Holiday. They got Buddy Hill from uh, the rookie out of, I think, uh, Oklahoma. He's a scorer. Uh, he may even be an upgrade over Eric Gordon. Uh, and of course, you mean, just a couple of years ago, Anthony Davis, AD, the Brow, he was considered the second best player in the league behind LeBron. Um, I think injuries have kind of calmed down that talk, but if he, if he can have another healthy year, the talent is definitely there, no doubt. But um, I don't think having Gentry is the right coach for that type of personnel. Uh, and hopefully, you know, if, if hopefully Buddy Hill can live up to expectations coming out of draft, out of the draft. Because guys like Drew Holiday, you know, Holiday wasn't drafted by the Pelicans. And um, Tyreek Evans, he wasn't drafted by the Pelicans either. They haven't really lived up, you know, to being, you know, first-round picks. Especially Tyreek Evans, who was a, what, number four pick? I know, I know, I think he was a top five to the Kings, a top five pick. Throughout his career, he hasn't played like that. So hopefully Buddy Hill can, you know, maybe turn things around. He was a scorer in college, um, you know, um, um, he can shoot. Cause they're going to need shooters in their system. If if those athletes, if you know if they land Stevenson and um, Buddy Hill and the rookie and uh, Drew Holiday, Tyreek Evans, you know if those guys can can shoot the three and have consistent shooting throughout the entire 82, 82 games, they'll be a playoff team. If not, they're going no, they're not a playoff team. <laughs> you know what I mean? In Avin Gentry's system, you know what I mean? He's got a I don't really. I'm not a huge fan of it, but if you've got the right personnel to do it, if you got Steve Nash at point guard, hey, it might it might be able to work. But they just don't have the personnel to match, you know. And um, hopefully, you know, AD can stay healthy this year. He might need to get in the weight room and bulk up a little bit. But I'm, I got them finishing last in the, in the division again, and Gentry's probably going to be on the hot seat on his way out, and this might be his last chance to to get. To get a coaching job, unless he changes his philosophy, you know, his his system, things like that. Uh, got, yeah, they got Terrence Jones from the Rockets too. He can spread the floor. It's it's about shooting, you know. What I mean, can can they shoot? You know, you you gotta develop that shot, in, in, especially in Gentry's system. You know, if, if Terrence Jones, Tyreek Evans, Drew Holiday, Buddy Hill, the rookie, around Anthony Anthony Davis is gonna he's gonna get his talented players do what talented players do, but can they around him? You know, but. Um, I think they won like 30 games last year. I think with a healthy Anthony Davis, I think they'll win about 32. Um, Buddy Hill may just be an upgrade over Eric Gordon at the two guard, but he's still a rookie. You know what I mean? Are you going to rely on a rookie to carry us? You know what I'm saying? Well, Eddie, Buddy does have, he does have some potential there, but I've got him winning 32 games. They're, they're not in the playoffs. 
and uh, I think they need to get they need to get another coach in there, get another coach. You know what I mean? But I got them winning thirty two and out of the playoffs, man. Um, next I've got the uh, the Houston Rockets. James Harden, he's gonna be the full time point guard now, so that means the Harden's gonna have the ball in his hand for the majority part of the game, and he's probably gonna put us some massive numbers this year. I mean, if he's because he's gonna have the ball in his hands, I mean, I, I can see him averaging. About 30 points, 9 assists, 6 rebounds. You know what I mean? Being, playing point. He can create for, for, for himself, for others. If the ball is going to be in his hand. Not saying he's a ball hog, but that's that's what he does. He, he's going to have some MVP type numbers, man. MVP type. So my prediction would be he would average 30, 9, and 6. 6 rebounds, 9, and 6, 30 points. At point guard. Uh, and he's arguably the best. Him, Kyrie, Steph Curry. Uh, Chris Paul is kind of declining a little bit, but those three, you know what I mean, um, the best at breaking the defense down off the dribble, you know, and getting the penetration. And now he can definitely get to the to the free throws. He shoots about eight to nine free throws a game, um, and he gets a great passer, you know. And they, they got some decent. Sh- they got Eric Gordon, some decent shooters. They got Eric Gordon and Ryan Anderson from the Pelicans. Trevor Reeser is okay. Uh, Corey Brewer, uh, he shoots it, but he doesn't shoot it at a, a high percentage. So he's because you, I, mean, the dri- I love the dribble penetration and the kick, drive and kick. That's NBA basketball. That's basketball, period. Okay, with street ball, whatever. But I love that. But he's really the only one that can create. <laughs> Every Gordon can a little bit, but they've got a bunch of spot up shooters. You know, and uh, I mean, that's, that's a great fit for James Hart. That's what he does. You need spot up shooters around his tri- dribble penetration. He's going to put up some massive numbers in this offense. I don't see no defense here. <laughs> There's not a lot of defense. A bunch of spot-up shooters around James Harden. Okay, he, he, you got the ball, James. Go go make a play. He's going to do that a lot of times, and it's going to be a lot of times where the offense could just be a stagnant, and, and um, you know, it's, it, that's not a good success. It's not a good formula for success, success especially trying try to get in the playoffs. They were just in the West Finals a couple of years ago. You know, um, but I think James Harden will have a good year. I don't know if the Rockets will, you know. I think they, they won um, 41 games last year. I think they're going to drop off. I, I think they're going to drop off defensively. Uh, I think they'll win about 35 games, not in the playoffs. And next, I got the Dallas Mavericks. Um, I, I love Dirk. I think he's a Hall of Famer. Rick Carlisle, is he a Hall of Fame coach? I mean, you know, I, I don't know. You know, I mean, that's, leave you leave a comment in the comment section. Experienced team. I, I like their I like their three point guards with Darren Williams and JJ Barea and Devin Harris. They're all a little you no know, longer in the tooth and a little older, but they're experienced. Things like that. It's a good, solid, experienced team. They they upgrade defensively by signing Andrew Bogut from the Warriors, but I think they take a slight step step back offensively. By uh, replacing Chandler Parsons with uh, Harrison Barnes, uh, I think Barnes offensively. I don't think he's. Uh, I don't think he's as good as uh, Parsons, but he, I think he's a better defender too, and a better athlete. So they upgrade a little bit defensively, but I think they take a step back a little bit offensively. You know what I mean? And um, just you know they're a solid, uh, um, experienced team. You know what I mean? They're they're, they're going to be there. They're going to fight and play hard because Rick Carlisle don't play that. <laughs> you put you right on the bench. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna play, compete, play hard. Dirk is still, you know, he's still productive. You know what I mean? Uh, I think he had 18 points a game. He, he he's still doing this thing, not at a high level like he once was. You know, he's almost 40. They won 42 games last year. Uh, I got them winning 42 again. Like I said, they upgrade defensively, take a step back slightly offensively, in my opinion. So I think that kind of evens itself out. I think they're gonna win 42 games again this year. Right around 42, anywhere from 40 to 44. I'm, I'm gonna say 42, and I got him in the playoffs. You know what I mean? Just out of the respect that I have for the experienced team, a Hall of Famer like Dirk, and a good coach like Rick Carlisle, things like that. I, I, I got him in the playoffs. Uh, uh, second in the division, I almost, I almost put the Mavs second, but second, I'm gonna put the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, I was surprised that they made the playoffs last year to the injuries that they they went through. Um, they, they lost in the first round. Most of us seen that coming, and um, but they they are a consistent team. You know what you're gonna get from this team. They're gonna grind you out. 
slow the game down, play physical, play defense, rebound. You know what I mean? No more, no less. That's it. That's what they do. <laughs> you know what you're going to get. Consistency. They're going to get in the playoffs. And the lack of offense is going to be the reason why they bounced out, get bounced out. A few years ago when they made it to the conference finals, I think against the Spurs, I think that, that was this team's peak. That They, they peaked. They maxed out. That, that, that was the best for them. And after this year, they may have to start looking at moving pieces. You know what I mean? Trying to be... To try and rebuild but still be still win at the same time, which is difficult for GMs. You know what I mean? That's a difficult thing to do to balance out. But um they're a consistent team. You know what you're gonna get. Uh they've been looking to solve their small forward position or oh, uh, small forward offensively. You know, they've been trying to solve that problem. They had Rudy Gay for a while. I think they had Jeff Green, Lance Stevenson. Uh, I think they tried Tony Allen, Matt Barnes. Uh, they got Chandler Parsons now. He, he, he can shoot the three decently well, so he, some decent shooting. Um, uh, newly hired coach uh, David was it Fisdale? Um, you know he's saying that uh, Zebo, Zach Randolph is coming off the bench now. He, you know, he's going to be he's coming off the bench. Um, as of right now, there's it's not an issue. You know I mean you know Zebo's t- he's taking the role well. Um, you know, that's having Zebo coming off your bench. Hey, you know, a lot of teams will take that. I don't know if he's going to be on the roster at the end of the year. You know, he they, they might look to try and move him, and then during the off season try to, you know, me move some things around. I know Mike Cunning got that huge contract, so he probably ain't going nowhere. He's going to probably retire a Grizzly. They, they won forty two games last year. I think they'll win about forty four, forty five this year. Uh, I, I say forty four. They'll be in the playoffs again. You know what I mean? That's, just, that's what they do. And first, I got the San Antonio Spurs, man. Uh, I know they lose Tim Duncan for retirement. They replace him with Powell Gasol. Another, I mean, maybe a Hall of Famer in Powell. I don't know. Uh, but another solid player. Uh, Kawhi, I think Kawhi's going to Kawhi's gonna put himself. He, he may get a top three MVP. Uh, he may finish in the top three in MVP voting. He may get it. I don't know. I think Kawhi's going to have a big year, man. They are a... Well run, great franchise. That's you know they're gonna be well coached by Coach Popovich. They they're a team that that has everything you're looking for. Low post scoring, Lamarcus Aldridge, even Paul Gasol a little bit. They can run pick and pop with the bigs with Paul Gasol and Lamarcus Aldridge. I mean Kawhi Leonard can get down in the low post and bang you um, and beat you up. They got uh, scoring out on the wing with Kawhi Leonard. Um, Tony Parker still has a little bit left in his legs to break down the defense, the defense off the dribble. Uh, Three-point shooting, Kawhi Leonard, uh, who was shooting the three at uh, 50% for most of the season last year. Uh, incredible. Uh, Danny Green, in health, I think Danny Green has like a quad injury to start the season. I'm hearing he's out for about three weeks, maybe a month. Um, Ginobili can hit the three. Kawhi, Tony Parker, not so much. Patty Mills. I mean, they play solid defense. They're well coached. They got bigs to protect the rim. They've got uh, Dwayne Detman from uh, Orlando Magic. You know, he uh, a, a good athletic big man. Uh, he, he he tries to protect the rim like his life depends on it. <laughs> tries to block every shot. Um, he gets in foul trouble sometimes, you know what I mean? But he's not going to get a lot of minutes. Uh, I'm talking about Dwayne Detman for the Spurs anyway with Ald- Ald- um, Aldrich and uh, Paul Gasol. Uh, I like Jonathan Simmons, man. Simmons is really he's really developing, man. He, he's 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 coming along, kind of how what the Spurs did with Kawhi. You know, he's he's coming along. He, he's getting better. He's improving, man. No doubt. Jonathan Simmons may knock Danny Green out of the starting lineup. You know, I don't. I mean, whatever Popovich decide on that, I'm not gonna argue with him. I mean, look at his resume. <laughs> you know, whatever Coach Pop say, but he, he's playing well, man. I mean, so they got scoring off the bench. This this team has everything you're looking for. You know they're going to be in the playoffs. <laughs> you know they're going to be consistent. They're going to be well coached. Things like that. So David Lee, he was a solid pickup. You know what I mean? He can get you maybe five, six, seven points, a couple of rebounds. A veteran. You know what I mean? He was on the Warriors team when they made that finals run when they won the chip in fifteen. You know things like that. But they just have it. They have everything you're looking for. And because of that, uh, I know. So I may disagree. I got the Spurs as the number one seed in the West. Ahead of the Warriors. I know. I know it's crazy. I, I've got a number one seed in the West. Now, it could be like 2011, LeBron's first year in Miami, 
Where the Bulls, Chicago was the first the number one seed. Derrick Rose won MVP. They met in the East Finals, but Miami beat them. You know what I mean? It could be one of those things where the Warriors had number two seed and, and they beat the Spurs. I don't know. I think the, the Warriors may come out struggling a little bit um, for the first maybe couple of weeks to get it all together. But their talent alone, they're just fighting. Them. You know I mean, their talent alone will allow them to get the second seed. Just keep fighting, you know what I mean, and get the second seed throughout the regular season. But I forgot the Spurs are the number one seed. You know, uh, their their front court could give the Warriors in trouble. You know, but I, I got them as the number one seed last year. They won 67 games. Uh, clearly the second best team in the regular season. Only the Warriors, <laughs> you know what I mean? They won 67 last year. I think they'll win about 65, 64, about 65 this year. And in, in, in the number one seed in the West, man. Um, yeah, I think the Warriors would be, you know, it'd be, Four, four by four games, something like that, you know what I mean? But I, I got the Spurs number one seed, about 65. Jonathan Simmons, man, he, he's going to have a good year. Kawhi is probably going to finish top two, three MVP. I just, this Spurs team looks good, man. It looks real good. But that's how I got it, man. I got the Pelicans finishing the fifth with about 30, 32 wins out of the playoffs. I got the Rockets finishing fourth in, in the division, about 35 wins out of the playoffs. I got the Mavs third with about 42 wins again. Um, you know, uh, I think they'll be in the playoffs again. I got the Grizzlies winning about 44 games. They'll be in the playoffs and the Spurs up there. Uh, the best. They may have the, maybe, I think them and the Cavs are going to fight for the best record in the NBA. But I got the Spurs number one seed in the West, man, with about 65 wins. You know, let me know what you guys think, man. Uh, I'm a round ball fan and, um, how you guys see the division playing out? How you guys see the, uh, the Western Conference playing out? Let me know what you guys think, man. Uh, this your boy, The Real McCoy, man. I'm out. Peace.